when I was six or seven, my dad and I were driving in our Volkswagen bus and we had all the windows down because that was the AC. And uh, there's a piece of paper on the dashboard and I'm sitting in the front seat, you know, privileges of being the firstborn. And uh, sitting up there, my dad says, hey, will you grab that piece of paper off the dashboard and get it off there so it doesn't blow out the window? And I said, it's not going to go out the window. And he said, could you be wrong? And I said, in my infinite wisdom, no. And immediately there was a gust of wind and the paper fluttered up and flew right out my window. And he looked at me and he smiled. I just remember him going, hmm. And he didn't drive home the point. He didn't say, I told you so, son. He just let it sit. And it's been 40 something years since that happened. And I still carry with me that absolute surety in my heart that I knew I couldn't be wrong. And then when immediately I was, I was forced to confront what happens in a world where I don't have all the answers and something I was so sure of is actually different. It's helped me to uh, be humble. It's helped me to be teachable. It's helped me to remain uh, able to have conversations with people, even when it seems like where they're coming from, where I'm coming from, or completely different areas. It's helped me not to be hard-headed. It's helped me not to insist upon my own way. And it's helped me to be a person who I hope is, is approachable and is never, even in my teaching moments, because that's what I do, I teach. In my teaching moments, I'm not a lecturer and I'm not talking down or condescending because I still got a lot to learn. And I can tell you that there's a, a, a scripture that says something to the effect of God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And I want humility every time because I want to I live in God's grace. And I know if I ever start getting puffed up and thinking I know all there is to know and I can't be wrong, a piece of paper might fly out that window. Hope you have a great rest of your day.